Hello everyone, thank you for coming up today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Another big tragedy has just happened, which is affecting the country at large. One of the army staff, that is Major General Hassan Ahmed, has been killed. A very painful one. And bandits actually attacked him. And he was a former provost marshal of the Nigerian army. This was released this morning he was murdered along the Lokoja abuja road yesterday thursday july 15 2021 he was actually returning from ukene when this gunman opened fire on his car they are talking of kidnap at the same time they're also talking about armed bandits when will all of this end look at how family members are losing their loved ones Painful because these loved ones are not sick. They are so healthy. And the next thing you just hear is, this person is gone. Not as a result of illness, but as a result of someone else killing them. Also, a statement was released by the army spokesperson, that's Onyema Mwachuku. It says the diseased will be buried according to Islamic rights today, July 16, 2021. And you know, usually when the past, if the person is Muslim, they either bury the person the next day, they don't allow it to stay so long. How painful can this be for his family who were expecting him back home, unknown to them that that will be the last of them hearing or seeing their loved one. And the statement was released. This is an exact statement which the spokesperson released with a heavy heart the chief of army staff lieutenant general farouk yahaya and soldiers of the nigerian army regret to announce the passing on of major general hassan ahmed a former provost marshal of the nigerian army the sad incident occurred when the senior officer's vehicle was attacked by gunmen while transiting along Lokoja Abuja Road yesterday, July 15, 2021. A delegation from the Army Headquarters, led by the Chief of Policy and Plans, Major General Anthony Omozoji, has visited the widow and other members of the bereaved family. Members of the Nigerian Army Officers Wives Association, led by the Deputy National President, Mrs. Stella Omozoje, have also visited the family to condole with them. The remains of the deceased senior officer will be accorded a befitting burial at the Longin Barracks Cemetery on Friday, July 16, 2021, by exactly 10 a.m. Isn't this too much? Every time your family is out there, you're worried. You're not even sure if they're going to come back. That is how painful it is these days. The rate of insecurity has increased. How many innocent people have been gone down in this same road? Lives have been lost, not just in that particular road, but around the nation at large. Kidnappers are doing their own on the other end, and bandits are there doing their own on the other end. Armed robbers are there doing their own on the other end. And to make matters worse is that they take lives. The kidnappers have turned it to be their own business, source of livelihood. It's so painful that some of them would still kidnap you, request for ransom. After receiving the ransom, they kill the person. Then why did you now request for the ransom? 
knowing that you're going to kill this person. Isn't this double wickedness? Sometimes some of those family members don't even have anything. They have to go scouting around. Some even go to the extent of borrowing money just to free their loved one. And after they have done that, instead of these kidnappers to release their loved ones alive, you hear the next thing is the person is dead. Now, I'm bandits. It's either they are hired, I don't even understand. For his own case now, I, they definitely carry out an investigation to find out if it was a planned thing, if it was a deliberate attempt, or whether it was just a random killing. But they said these killers, the bandits, opened fire on his own vehicle. Could this be they were hired for them to kill this man? All right, not long ago, the military officers just passed away in a plane crash. Families are still mourning their dead. And right now, again, today, another sad news of the passing away of Major General Hassan Ahmed. How long will this continue? Family members losing their loved ones. Look at his wife and his kids now are mourning their father who they were waiting for yesterday to arrive home unknown to major general that he was not going to get home unknown to his wife and kids that they would never see him again why are these people causing so much pain to families you go to so many families now they'll tell you one person or the other has been killed either through kidnap or through armed bandits the rate at which it's going now, don't be surprised that you just move past streets, one house to the other, and just keep going around and asking. You will definitely find someone who will tell you that either their loved one was gone down or their loved one was kidnapped. You will get to hear it. And now it's so bad that they just go randomly doing these things. When will all of this stop? And to make matters worse, they don't even get to arrest the same person persons that will do these things in some cases you see them they arrest them in most cases you find out that some of these armed bandits they are never arrested because they do these things very fast in a way that you will know this will actually plan their acts it's such a pity that major general never knew that was his last and sometimes in cases like this sometimes they could say it's either a colleague or it's either someone who know him that have sent armed bandits to kill him. The truth is that no one who do not know anybody would not kill the person. Except the person is hired. Maybe the hired person would not know who the person is. All he knows is let him go and do the job he was paid for. Then the person who has assigned him that job definitely know the disease. Because you can't send someone to go and kill someone you knew nothing about. And... These killers are usually out just to kill the person and walk away. They don't even get to steal anything from the individual they've gone to kill. Just like the other day when a bandit got into a man's house, a businessman's house in Delta State. When they got in there, the man was there with his wife and his daughter and his wife was even pregnant. The man kept on pleading with them that please, they should spare his life, but they should take anything they want. He has the money that he will give it to them. He kept on pleading with them. And these people right in front of the wife and the daughter, they shot this man to death. And they just walked away after they did that. What do people gain for people who are into activities like this? What do you gain when you kill someone? When you take people away from their loved ones? Some of these people, they have just pinned themselves down to say this is just their own way of making money for life. Because they are paid huge amounts of money. And people that are kidnapping, they request millions. You request millions. You will not hear any kidnapper requesting for 20,000, 50,000. They request for millions. And funny enough, for those that have been kidnapped, very few of them are spared. They will come back telling you their ordeal. And it's not like they were sitting down there in the kidnapper's domain without being tortured. They would tell you their experiences. Most of them are severely tortured. 
they come back with either swollen eyes, injuries all over their body. Just very few are not touched. They come back home alive, but after huge amounts has been paid. Funny enough, for the few kidnappers that the police have actually arrested, which the police are doing a good job regarding that because you see virtually every day in the news and some of these kidnappers and bandits that you see they're getting arrested when you even see them you'll be like looking at these people they don't even look like someone who would even think of acts horrible as this because for those they have actually paraded on the news um papers when you see these guys for those of you that have seen them, you be wondering, some of them look like people that don't even know anything with regards to any form of horrible evil like this. Some of them look so innocent. Some of them look so out of it completely that you wouldn't even imagine someone like this would think of kidnapping a fellow human being and requesting for ransom. It's not like they are hefty men that you feel okay this one too, when you see them you know that they have put their hands into horrible things but these are just young guys very young guys now some people don't even want to work anymore they've decided that it is kidnap that is their own business or they will register themselves as killers once you are ready you want someone to kill someone you're not interested with or you don't like you would hire them so those ones are the armed bandits, the assassins. They will now go and assassinate who you want them to assassinate. And afterwards, they will now pay you. Taking a loved one from their family, it's a very painful thing. Major General is a young man. It's not like an old man that you say, okay, this one was sick and all. But he's a healthy man. And then these people decided to gun this man down. I'm sure definitely they'll carry out an investigation to find out what led to these armed bandits killing this man because the truth is that most of these armed bandits that come out to kill people they are usually sent and once they have accomplished what they want to do they turn their back and no more it's so painful may the soul of major general hassan rest in peace and may almighty god console his entire family friends well wishes and every Body that knew him may God console them all it's a difficult moment right now for his family and friends it's a very difficult moment for the nation at large because these days if any member of your family is even out there you'll be scared all you just keep doing is praying or you keep standing by the window and be waiting to see that this person comes back home alive that is how bad it is these days even to walk on the streets you're not even sure of who is behind you or who is after you now you don't even need to be rich for you to be kidnapped you don't need to be rich for you to be killed because these days they just feel that if you're kidnapped whatever you would do talk to your family members if it means them going any extent or any length to get the money they should do it it's none of their business all they want is that money and they'll let you know if you don't bring the money they will kill your loved one and then you now put families into stress. You now put family into heartache and pain. Who are those doing all of this? And it's so bad these days that some of these people that are into horrible acts like this are not ready to work. They just want to have their own source of livelihood to, through a means of hurting other people's family. These days it's for people to just be very prayerful because even when you're working on the street, you don't even need to be in an area that is isolated. Even where there are crowds, when they want to kidnap you, they will come and they will take you where no one can even stop them at that time because people are scared. They are either armed with weapons that can easily hurt you. So a lot of people would even try to avoid it and run away or may pretend like they didn't see it because who wants to endanger himself or herself into death? It's only God's protection. Everyone should be very prayerful because just God that protects people as you move in and as you move out. And again, this thing, death, when it's coming, it doesn't announce itself. It will just hit you wherever the person is. Some people, it meets them in their house. Some once they step out of their house, 
And funny enough, not all of the, and to make matters worse, not all of these deaths are natural deaths. People, everyone needs to be very prayerful these days because stepping out of your house is not even safe. Even while you are inside your house, some of them come to meet the people in their house and they kill them or they kidnap them right from their own house. It's only God that protects and it's only God who can see the future, knows what will happen the next second. But the fact that we don't know and the fact that we don't really know when death is coming and who is coming after us. That is another reason why everyone needs to be very, very prayerful, asking for God's protection and guidance, asking for God to keep our family members and each and every one of us safe. It only takes the grace of God that you would step out of your house and come back home safely. It only takes the grace of God that you will get into your house, sleep, and wake up the next morning alive and healthy without any form of attack. It's really painful. I just hope and pray that something should be done about all of this. The likes of the kidnappers, the unbandits, the robbers, something really needs to be done. But I'm glad these days that if you see the news virtually every day, one kidnapper or the other is being arrested. And from all indications, Friends, please, what do you think about this? Am bandits having to kill Major General Hassan just within seconds? And yet, but no one is in custody anyways, because if they had arrested someone, they would have mentioned it. But no one has been arrested right now. Friends, please, if you have anything to say, you can put that down at the comment section. Thank you for coming up today. Please don't forget to hit on the like button. Also, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.